Sabah everybody and welcome back. Right now I'm upgrading from the Z Flip 3 to the Z Flip 4. Last year I put out a video for you guys and I told you guys that I returned the Z Flip 3. And the reason or the primary reason for that is because I always felt like I needed to do this to use the phone. You needed to open it up. The front display was primarily for notification. It was pretty much a glorified smartwatch on the phone. Well, I wasn't actually aware that there was a functional app that allowed me to actually do things like this. I'm talking about watching Netflix on my cover display on the brand new Z Flip 4 and actually it will work on the Z Flip 3 as well. And that to me makes this a must have application for any Z Flip 3 or Z Flip 4 owner. This is TK, let's go ahead and add some super functionalities into that outside display on our Z Flip devices. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified to whenever we have new videos on the channel. So I'm going to start by saying this. This actually works on the Z Flip 3 as well as the Z Flip 4. I don't have the Z Flip 2 or the Z Flip 5G. So just keep in mind they may actually work on earlier generations of the Z Flip. But the development or the application that itself I actually discovered it on the Z Flip 4. And one of the main benefits is, as you can see here, is the ability of actually launching and running multiple applications. So what you're looking at right now, it's in flex mode. I'm actually able to swipe back. I still have access to my notification. I can swipe back down. Notice uh, now we have obviously the toggles that are present at the top. We still are able to actually check and use our system like a normal device. The big difference between this is now this actual little display is a much more functional small smartphone display that enables me to open up even full-fledged email applications and reading entire things. Now I'm not saying this is something you want to do all the time, but let's say you want to be able to uh, check an email and maybe read that code that you just got from the email as opposed to the, just a few first lines from it. This is definitely very functional. The app itself is called Cover Screen OS. The app itself is technically considered still in beta. It's a work in progress and it still has more features to come and there's other other ways to obviously to add different things. There's a few permissions that it does require, the ability of drawing over uh, basically the appear on top, accessibility services, as well as notification access, and of course immunity from Doze, which is built into Android. So it doesn't actually go to sleep, so you can access this whenever you need. There's a tutorial on how to be able to use it. There's the about, obviously, that gives you access to know exactly where it is. And also connect with the developer over Telegram if you guys be able to get some feedback there. There's also a, a feedback bugs and requests in case there's any issues with your specific device. There is a paid version of this. There's a way basically to connect with the developer. Um, out of the box, it does have ads. So if you're okay with the ads, then I probably would say, don't worry about it. But if you don't want to add, you can support the developer by making a one-time payment like I did. And that will remove all of the ad functionalities inside of the app in here. And it does connect to your Google account. So hopefully if you end up having to reset the phone, you won't lose your purchase. So on the home screen, again, those are the primary things that you can see under setup. You can go into the setups here. Essentially, uh, resume apps on main screen. You can go in and jump in. Edge lighting for notification, customize those. App drawer, hide the apps, of course, if you want them. And of course, turn on uh, voice over IP caller ID screen. Now, most of these, sometimes some of them work, some of them don't. Like an example would be here, resume apps on the front. That wasn't working before, but now it doesn't actually kind of work with me. Um, color, you know, uh, color the new uh, notification, edge lighting. What I really like about it is this functionality. The ability of just basically s straight up, I mean, seriously, we just go in here, click on it, open up an application. You can even use your fingerprint sensor to make things work. Now this example, obviously it's opening up Samsung Health. I don't need to necessarily open it up here, but I have it in the configuration to be either in landscape or in portrait. So either a small version of a smartphone or more of a viewable space area. But you can see right there, I have access to my dialer, the YouTube application, I have access to my gallery, Chrome, uh, Duo, Google Play Store, Bixby if you need to use that. Uh, the camera application, obviously we can launch it, that's not something new. Of course, Facebook, uh, the different options that we have in there, uh, Samsung Shop, all the apps that are in my app drawer are in here. The benefit of this, of course, let's say I wanna jump into YouTube. Now by default, you notice YouTube opened up in this format. Obviously this is not necessarily the most conducive version. So I'm gonna actually go ahead and close YouTube. And I'm going to change the orientation to be more of a standard format. So now when I open up YouTube, you notice that it opens up in normal format. So I'm actually able to jump into shorts and actually use them and listen to them. I just, I'm turning on the audio. So you notice right there, the audio is definitely very, uh, just not present there for me. But otherwise, when you change the orientation lock, it gives you the ability of customizing it on how it actually interfaces with your device. So one of the things I like about this, again, is the ability of launching, let's say, the dialer to be able to make phone calls. Um, or even just being able, as I showed you guys at the beginning, launching Netflix, a full version of Netflix on this device, straight up on the display. A very nice, very functional app. And again, it does work on the Z Flip 3. So let's go ahead and launch it here. 
and you can see same thing opens up everything uh, the one thing i will say the non uh, supported one the free version does not allow us to change the orientation you do need to make a donation either by a monthly or uh, you can also even do something called like i think the lifetime so let's go ahead and open it up here and when you go about support the dev you'll notice here it does give you the different options there's a monthly yearly and lifetime for me honestly i felt like it was something that is worth it so for 11 bucks 99 cents you get a lifetime subscription to this you get all the updates down the road for me on the z flip 4 it was 20 bucks but on the z flip 3 as you can see it's a little bit cheaper and of course you get some of those really nice functional options on the external display and the nice thing about this is it does not drain the battery uh, as much as the main display when you're running it. Now, you're not going to be watching Netflix on this for the longest time. But for me, when I want to be able to listen, let's say if I don't have a subscription to YouTube music, I want to be able to listen to music on my phone without necessarily having to keep it open all the time. You can run it now on your display on the front. Now, this enables you to have that experience and you can just basically play whatever song you want to go through, experience the entire thing. And again, if you're not happy with this orientation, just go home, change it, go back into YouTube. And now you have the right form factor and you can use it exactly the way you want it. Now, I will say this. This app is technically still considered to be a beta. This is not a fully functional app and not everything is going to work exactly as it intended. I just showed you guys there was a, one of the options where I selected the thing to turn it on to allow me to continue an app from when it's open to a closed state. And it didn't actually work. For me right now, just the fact that I'm able to launch my applications on the, on the lock screen is a big win. It allows me to fully use this display on the front as I need it to be done. There's no more limitation as to what I want it to be. Um, not to say that I'm going to be watching Netflix on this all the time, but not having to open the phone saves battery and extends the battery life for me overall. This is a much smaller OLED panel that runs at a much slower refresh rate than the internal display. There's no reason why I can't open the phone and still use everything I want to use it. But at the end of the day, this makes this phone more functional for me. And of course, less of a burden of me having to open the phone. Again, there's nothing wrong with it. If you'd like to, you can always keep using it the way you'd like. But if you've ever wanted to add features into your phone that Samsung doesn't allow us to have or is not uh, making it available yet, this will get you over there. So cover OS is definitely something that's nice. It's a beta. So be aware there may be some bugs here and there, but at, the, at its core, without even having to purchase uh, or support the developer by just using it with the ad support, it actually gives you everything that you want. And of course, gets you running the way you need it. You just need to be aware of the permissions because it does need to be consistently running for it to actually give you that benefit. So uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. For me, this is something that makes the Z Flip 4 way more functional. Uh, and of course, it runs on the Z Flip 3 as well. If had I known about this last year when I was actually when I first purchased my Z Flip 3, I probably wouldn't have returned the Z Flip 3 and I probably wouldn't have had to buy this again to trade it in to get the Z Flip 4 at that crazy trade in offer that Samsung was putting in there. Literally, it cost me $100 over what I got this for to get this guy. And that's a crazy deal. So like and subscribe as usual. Thank you very much for the support. I'll see you on the cover next time.